Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Acts chapter 3 verse 12 as well as Matthew chapter 6 verse 13. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word. Lord Jesus, help us to remember it in our testings, Lord God. Remember it in our life. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Acts chapter 3, verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people. Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power of piety, we have made him walk? All right, and so it says, when Peter saw it, he addressed the people. So what did he see? He saw all of the people running together um, in wonder and awe because of the man who had been healed, right? The man who had been healed was standing there holding on to him and and the people had rushed together. And it says, men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? So he's, he's asking them to evaluate, you know, why it, it's a surprise, right? Because remember, Jesus had already come and he had done these things before. And they knew, you know, if you want to see acts of acts of miracles, then Jesus was the man, right? His disciples and, and Jesus. So it says, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power of piety, we, may, we have made him walk? And so we all know that this type of power only comes from God, Right. This this type of of healing um, is is a miracle of God, especially in his temple. Right. Like right outside of his temple. And so um, this would have to have come from God. This would have to have been um, Jesus. And so um, Peter was trying to redirect them and point them in the right direction. Right. Miracles are a wonderful way of getting people's attention, right? Why? Because people have great need that cannot be solved by the means of this world most of the time, right? Or or if they can, it's it's out of their reach. And so when they see something that defies the laws of this world, they are are quick to want to know how, what, what happened, right? And so that's a great way to get their initial attention. And we as believers, we as the ones who are the vessels and carriers of the light, we are to point them to the light that we are reflecting, right? Because we're reflecting the light of Christ. God God has his light that comes from him and, and shines out of him and we reflect it. And so we show them, we redirect the attention to the point of focus, to the, to the one who created the light, to the one who is actually shining the light. So in this next season, you know, we might see some miraculous wonders. We might see some things that, you know, the world might be in complete, you know, wonder about, uh, in the world that we live in, we always have, um, you know, analysts, right, who will say, hey, it had to be this, it had to be that. But you be sure to redirect the attention and redirect the focus to God. Why? Because they need to know what it is that's going on, right? They need to know, and we need to be ready at all times to give an answer for the hope that we have, right? We need to be always ready to point them to the Father. Um, it says, as though by our own power or piety, meaning godliness, um, we have made him walk. So they could not have done it themselves, even if they were really godly, right? They don't have that power, but God does. He is the giver of power. He is the giver of mor the miraculous. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Matthew chapter six, verse 13, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So God is trying to redirect us, right? As we redirect the focus, 
So when people come, like if, if a person operates in great power, the enemy, one of his chief ways to try to, um, divert them or cause them to fall is to begin to believe in themselves right rather than have faith in what is unseen so they it's it's better to have them um start to uh, fall by focusing inward rather than focusing on the source and so we in this season need to be sober and vigilant of the source of our strength, sober and vigilant of the source of our peace, sober and vigilant of the, the one who gives us the power to operate in gifts, right? We need to always give him the praise, always set the atmosphere with him, always acknowledge him first, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Make sure you're always giving God that, that first and last acknowledgement because he is the first and the last. When we start out with what we're doing, we should have already had that devotion or we should have already given him that praise that morning before we have even left out the door, right? I'm sure Peter had already had some time with God, speaking to God um, and then going out um, and being able to manifest that great power, he had been walking in it, right? That means he had already been walking in that virtue to be able to release that virtue. So when he did it and the miracle came to pass, he was quick to point, mm -mm, not me, God, God. All I did was plug into the source. All I did was plug it in, right? Right. And so we're all vessels to be used by the Lord and we need to be quick to point to God. You know, people, you give them a hug or you, you, you know, acknowledge their need, meet their need and you address them and, and address what's going on with them. And, and, you know, people are so lonesome sometimes in this world, people are so in desperate need and it's becoming such a cold place to live in and you know when you do address those needs people are so surprised right people are so surprised and they quickly want to give you the glory don't let them do it don't let them do it point them to the light point them to the light you know it, we it, we just usually oh, okay you know that's nice you know oh you're so sweet but you know point them to the light Tell them there is a source, there is a well that I draw from. If you want to not be thirsty again, draw from this well. This well works, right? And if this is a Christian or a believer that you are speaking to, tell them to draw from their well, right? Every day, seek the source. Pray more often, go into your prayer closet, Seek that source, which is the Father. Go before the throne boldly. You have access You with confidence, right? We can go before him. We can have boldness. We don't have to be afraid. He is our Abba Father. Study your word and go before your Father and remember the rights that you have. Remember the things that he has done for you. Amen. All right. And don't allow the people to try to make you the source. You are but a reflection. You are but another vessel drawing from the source. All right, you guys. It says, let's read it one more time. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. He's going to deliver us from evil, right? He's not going to lead us into temptation. God can't do it. Because, you know, when we are tempted, that means that we have been drawn by our own lust. Our own flesh has, has caused us to fall, right? And and with with God, he, he that's not what he's about, right? He might test you, but he's not going to tempt you. That's you, right? When you actually fall into that kind of stuff, that's all us right? He's always provided a way of escape. So when they want to give you the glory and, you know, they pick up the mic and they begin to say things and you want to look at you and say, hmm, is that me they're talking about? Is that, you know, they're reading off your, your bio? Mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. Nothing without God. Nothing. Uh, You know, but for the grace of God, there go I, right? God is the source. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this teaching, Lord God. Help us to remain humble. Help us to stop trying to be seen and, and put our hope and our trust in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, if there is anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. He's going to bless your path and show you the way. Um, One of the best ways to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit is to um, sit down with his word, chew on his word and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Um, All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.